Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. Today I have a very cool and extremely simple prop for you guys. With the help of this brand new longer LK5 Pro 3D printer, I 3D printed this Black Panther necklace from the 2018 movie Black Panther and also in Infinity War and Endgame. And as you can see, of course, you can put it on just like that and I think it looks really good. In the movie, this necklace was worn by T'Challa and basically the teeth of this necklace holds all of the nanoparticles to make the Black Panther suit. And this is actually my first time wearing this with a black shirt on and I'm looking at my camera and it looks super cool and I love the way it turned out. And basically I used the 3D printer to 3D print all of the teeth on the necklace and I spray painted it silver and I glued it to this black string to make the necklace and that's as simple as it gets. Now I know I 3D printed these teeth which are quite small but obviously with the size of this printer you can print much larger things and I'm super excited to use it for my future projects. And while I have your attention, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my TikTok at Propway to see a lot more cool content that you won't see here on YouTube. So let's start off by doing a little unboxing of this 3D printer. Now let's unbox this thing. Take off this red piece of foam on the top. It comes with some free filament. You have a scraper here. You have your kind of assembly instructions. Here you can see we have the upper frame, which again, which is already mostly assembled. The real meat and potatoes of the printer is inside this bottom part. Let's pull that out. I'm just gonna go ahead and start assembling this thing for the instructions. It looks like there are seven total steps, which is Amazing, so let's start doing that. So once it's assembled, you can see here that I'm just leveling it out and these steps are in the instructions, so you don't have to worry about that. And here is the 3D model of the Black Panther tooth that I made. As you can see, I added in a little hole here to thread a string through. And once that model was done, I imported it into Cura, which is the 3D printing software. And I just wanted to do one test piece to start with. And then you can save it to an SD card here. And now I'm just going to insert that into this port on the printer. And once that's in there, you can go to the LCD screen. You click on file here, select the file that you just saved, hit open and then you can click yes to start the print. And what's nice is that you can adjust your temperature settings very easily here. As you can see I'm just playing around with the nozzle temperature. And here is what the print looks like, this is just a quick time lapse of the one piece that I made. And here is what a finished print looks like, and as you can see there is a little bit of that base material to act as a raft. And once you cut that off, you should have a finished tooth that looks like this. And I was happy with how that turned out, so here I am printing out the rest of the teeth. And one of my favorite parts about this printer is how quiet it is, especially if you have a small workshop, you want your printer to be nice and quiet. Also I added this little LED light on the top which I just clamped into place. And the printer is also extremely stable because of that triangular design, which I love. And now you can see my prints are done. What's nice is that the bed is coated with a ceramic glass, so it's extremely easy to peel off your prints, just like that. And I'm happy with how these teeth came out, so we are now gonna start painting these. As you can see, I just taped it to a white foam board. You definitely can add a filler to smoothen out the teeth, but I'm just going to go ahead and spray this with some silver spray paint right onto the finished print. And here's what I have when I finish painting. Okay, so now that I've painted all of these panther claws, you can see there's a little hole 3D printed into it. And basically what I'm going to do is I need to thread this string through that hole and it's gonna be a tight fit. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So I redesigned the whole tooth because that string was way too small to thread through that hole. So here's the redesigned piece. As you can see, I'm just peeling off some support material. 
and basically this is going to be a little pocket right there and that is just going to glue right to the string that I'm using. And here is my dog niece Gigi. She is a little chicken head and I love her. So here is the new string or rope that I'm using and as you can see it's about a quarter inch in diameter. So here I'm just super gluing the teeth right in that little pocket and then I glue it straight to that rope. And that's all I do for the next few steps. I'm just going to glue all the teeth and place it evenly around that rope. And here is the final product. Like I said guys, it's super simple, but I think it came out really nice, especially because I didn't do any finishing on these prints except for paint. You can definitely add some filler and sand it out and smooth it out to get a shinier look, but if you don't want to do that, the print quality is just perfect for a Black Panther costume prop. So if you guys are looking for a new 3D printer, whether you're a beginner or have a little more experience with 3D printers, I would absolutely recommend the longer LK5 Pro. The size of the printer, the ease of assembly, the print qualities, and the price make it a no-brainer. And you can find more information on where to buy it in the description below and a special discount. As always, I would absolutely love if you guys could leave a like. I would love to hear all of your comments and feel free to subscribe for some really cool content coming up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video and Wakanda forever.